Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over how you could use make.com in order to build a analytics dashboard out of smartlead.ai. It'll also serve as a pretty good tutorial of building a workflow in make.com if you've never used make.com before, as this uses quite a bit of functionality that you're going to need to be able to use. And so uh, make.com at its basic is a tool that is competitive with Zapier, where they already have the APIs and the modules and the things hooked up. You just need to map your own content and it'll work through it like a workflow. Um, using each module is pretty basic and sometimes there's small little differences. And, you know, over the course of many videos, we'll get into that. The uh, thing that you'll see here is we need to use an HTTP module. And the reason we need to do this is because smartly.ai does not have a uh, module on make.com as of right now. And so we need to query it ourselves. So we're going to use the HTTP request in order to do that. And then we'll talk through the rest of the workflow and we'll just talk about this chronologically. So I'm going to pause because my API key is in here and I don't want to show anyone that. With my API key deleted, you are going to first need to query this URL. Now, how do I know that we need to query this URL? It is all in Smart Leads API documentation. And so you might want to ask ChatGPT, you might want to watch another video on how do you read API documentation in order to know what you what you want. And so we just know that we need this one from Smart Leads API documentation and then the Smart Lead API key goes over here, which I edited for this video, and then we're going to use the method get. This is all going to be in Smart Leads uh, API. It might be a post, it might be a delete, whatever it might be. But for this one, it's get. And then when we're setting this up, we always want to hit yes on parsing this response. Um, if you hit no, I, I actually don't know why that's even an option to hit no, because I've never hit no. I always hit yes. So anyway, what this is going to do first is this is going to get all of the data about all of our campaigns. And so if I delete this, and let me just pause again and make sure my API key is there. Great. So if we delete that, and all I do is hit run this module only, it's going to, it's thinking and it ran. And now it's going to be a list of all of my campaigns. And so you'll see an input and an output bundle. My API key is above this. So I'm just showing the output bundle. And this is the data. We have like over 400 campaigns in Smart Lead. We have a lot, 448. Great. And so you'll be able to see everything inside of here. So if we were to open this up, like we're not even running this campaign anymore, but we could see all of the settings and we could see the scheduler cron value. I think the, and yeah, we, you know, you could just see everything that we need. I think the main thing that we need is this campaign ID here. This is the most important part. And so now we, you saw we had 435 uh, data points in there. If we were to go from this module straight to this module, uh, we cannot dump 435, uh, you know, campaigns into one API because it's just not going to work the correct way. So we need to use an iterator. So what an iterator does is, um, this is just, just called flow control, and it's just taking the data that we had mapped from the the smart lead request over here and see how we put in data. Literally all I did is you could just grab it, drag and drop there. So now you'll get all of these campaign IDs. And instead of sending all 435 campaign ideas over to this uh, HTTP module, it's going to split them up and send them one by one because uh, that's just how we need the API to work. And so now we're this module, this is going to get us the actual campaign analytics. This is where we actually get the data that we need to know about our campaigns. Before, all it was telling us was things like, you know, the settings and the campaign ID and all of these things. Over here, we're going to run that. So I'm just going to pause it. So now you'll see that this is calling the analytics, but we needed the campaign ID, which is why I needed to start with this one first, because I don't have the campaign ID, so it's not going to work for me. And so I got the campaign ID. And then we have the analytics, the API key, all of these things. So this is all in the smart lead documentation. We just replaced his campaign ID with the one from the iterator over here, because remember, we don't want to pull it from over here because if we sit, do that, we'll pull like 435 and just blast this and it's not going to work. It's going to be invalid over here. This is where it's going to work. And so now again, we have all of this set up and we're just going to query for an API. And so now we can just do a quick test. Uh, and so I'm going to back out of this. And I'm just going to pause. I'll show you how we test this quickly. So again, I'm going to pause for my API key. The way that we could test this module is we could just go to like 289. Yeah, this was a long time ago. 
great. So we have the ID is 38540. Now we put in the ID and I can't get this to show without showing my API key. So we're going to have to just live. You're just going to have to believe me that now we'll get sample data. And now that we got that sample data, we would be able to move that to Google Sheets. And so we used um, Google Sheets as the database here. And the reason why we have to start with search rows is because we need to know, does this uh, campaign already exists inside of the Google Sheet because I don't want to just keep adding rows. I want to update a row. And so when we do a search row, we are searching for the data name from over here. And so if we get the uh, campaign name, and so you'll see like in the mapping, um, yeah, so over here, like it'll say data and also it'll say the campaign name. And we are searching by this campaign name and we want the text to equal that. If it does not find the campaign name, we're going to add a row and we're going to add all of the analytics. If it does find the campaign name, we're going to update that row and we're going to do it there instead. And so this is, you know, generally how we have all of this set up, I would say. And so um, if you have any questions, like I said, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of make.com on a more uh, basic level. But this is how you would put this together. I will download this blueprint without my API key and then upload it next to this video so that you can see exactly how this works. And then you can copy and paste it and just use it yourself too. Um, I think the only other thing to show is that this would create a campaign analytic for all of our customers. And this is just for our customer one schema. And so uh, one other thing is we have a filter over here to make sure that the client ID equals the ID from smart lead that we need them to equal. Um, and then that way we're not running like 435 and like, you know, mixing clients and things like that. We, we take care of it with the filter right here. And so at a high level, yeah, this is how we get it done.